Hi guys, uh, tonight we're going to look at uh, Gentex Corporation, which is uh, from auto part industry. I'm just curious, uh, have anyone, has anyone already analyzed it? Okay, great, fantastic. Okay, t so uh, whoever analyzed it, I always uh, recommend to analyze before our event, because in this case you can compare your outcome uh, with my outcome and we can discuss it because sometimes I can miss something sometimes you can miss something and uh, that's how we can uh, find the best opportunities all right okay first of all uh, the legal requirements a disclaimer I hope you all understand that uh, this is educational webinar and it's not a recommendation and uh, before you make any decisions you have to consider your own circumstances okay your own uh, portfolio management system, your outcome, and before you place any trade, you have to be aware of all outcomes and how to deal with them. Okay, put, put pluses, please, that you understand that. That's an important part. Because remember, guys, you invest your own money, not my money. Okay, uh, so okay, plan for today, as always, current market situation. Then we'll look at retail, bid, and supply industry, and uh, what part. Gentex Corporation uh, takes in that industry. And then we'll look at possible trading investing uh, strategies with this particular company. And then a uh, couple news. And then your questions. You can ask questions during the seminar. It's all right. It's not so many people. So I can answer them during. OK, that's what can, we can see uh, in Dow Jones. So that's from 9, 2009. We can see it straight light up. And, uh, but if you look at this, one roll, second roll, we're in the peak of the third roll right now. Okay, I, I want to emphasize it because everything what goes up can go down. And even if it's going, for example, if even if it stays in the same uptrend, it still can go to around this area, okay, which represents about 15% of downturn. Okay, so be aware of that before you place any trade and that's where Donald Trump become president and look at this after that it rallies up and up and up and up okay it might continue in this kind of called fast line in this case it might go still down about five percent or seven percent here still okay if it's continuing this uh, line above this line but still be aware of that please okay now that's what we can see in a shorter distance in 2017 that's what we can see uh, you see it's Donald Trump election after that it rallies up and uh, I put this like support line here and we can see it kind of goes nicely so even if it returns to same support line it has to go to about uh, 21,250 something like that so it's 700 points uh, downturn so and uh, that's quite a lot okay consider if it happens quickly Another thing which is uh, important to notice, look, that's the resistance line of like eight year trend. And you see for the last, starting from March, it tested it several times. And look, it broke through two weeks ago and it tested it last week. And now it's above it. So it's important to know what is going to happen. If it's going to stay above it, or it's going to return back to the previous trend. And that's what I'm saying. If it returns, it can easily go to 21,250 or even lower or even lower. Okay. And that would be about 15% for the drop. Okay. So be aware of that. So, and uh, that drop will be still in uh, within uptrend. So it's easily can go turn there around and go back up again. So that's what you have to think before you're placing any trade because if you chose the company and company is nice and everything is good but then you see market collapses and your company collapses so what are you going to do are you going to patiently wait until it recovers or you're going to protect the company or you're going to uh, exit with the stop loss you have to know it now before you're placing any trades guys okay uh, that's SCP 500 that's the long trend trend resistance line so again from 2009 and that's its bottom line 
and we can see again it's a pro it's not as Dow Jones on the top uh, it still has kind of way a bit to go here to resistance line but still we can see it's climbing up and up and up okay uh, also quite steadily uh, starting from 2017 or 16 sorry early 16 and again if it breaks this trend line it can go to 23,280 something like that but it's easily can go to about 2050 again okay. so it's about nearly 20 percent no not quite 20 but uh, uh, about 80 maybe percent downturn okay so again so be aware of that and if you look at Nasdaq Nasdaq that was I left it specially on purpose here this line represents uh, the resistance line of uptrend starting from 2009 and you can see it that last year it broke through we were talking about it before and uh, then it's tested and it stayed above and it's actually climbing even higher so it's kind of increased the speed of uptrend so uptrend start kind of uh, much faster and again so we can see that few rolls up so it can easily go here but if breaks sometimes previous resistance become a support if it breaks here it goes even lower if it breaks even more it can go here and that still support line of its uh, uptrend which goes from 2009 so but that would be a huge drop okay imagine that it drops about what uh, 1500 it's 25 percent drop so be aware of that so why you need to know about different indexes because uh, compact includes mostly tech stock and if you invested in tech stock so you 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 kind of uh, have to know that if nasdaq will be going down so probably tech stocks will go down faster okay be aware of that and uh, other other companies which are included in dow jones and s&p 500 they might not go as fast down as uh, nasdaq okay so that that's kind of thing if if we base our decision purely on technical analysis but of course you have to always take into consideration the company and today we're going to look at this company and you'll see how it behaves itself during bad times okay before we look at different companies okay and the last thing which we need to see it's uh, VIX volatility index or index of fear and we can see that that was the drop in 2016 and that was the lowest okay or the highest point in VIX so we can see every time when indexes are high indexes are low VIX is high and that's the best time to enter the position and we can see that uh, starting from last year uh, it doesn't go that high at all right so but it goes very lower 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 and you definitely want to avoid buying any shares at this particular point because when you buy here it means that all market is at the highest high okay guys so try to wait until it's here when it's fearful so for example if you enter a position it would be much better to enter position last week rather than enter position kind of uh, yesterday or maybe even today when it goes even higher okay and now guys is everything clear about indexes and the current market situation